What's up everyone? My name is Mark Plant and this is MPV Vlogs. Hey everyone, like I said, my name is Mark Plant and this is MPV Vlogs. Thanks for coming in. I do appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. Helps me out a lot. Uh, you'll be able to go back and check out all the videos that I've done. I'm going to reference probably a few of them in this one. Uh, if you're already a subscriber, you guys know I appreciate you guys. You know the reason why I'm able to do these videos. If you can, down on the bottom, on the subscribe button, hit that bell icon. You'll get a notification anytime that I put up a new video. If you're using a mobile device, just make sure that uh, notifications are available. So what we're going to do today is, if you saw my last video, you know that I've gotten a new M1 iMac. 24 inch, and I got it in blue. Uh, check out, it's up here, or up here, you, you'll see it up there. Uh, one of the problems with the IMAX, it's a great machine, that they, so far I've had it for a couple of days, it, it runs beautiful, there are not many ports with it. Uh, and one of the problems that I have is, I don't know what you can see behind me, is I run two monitors. There's no HDMI connection, I'm not able to connect via the Thunderbolt, uh, very little connections on it. So what I had to do was I had to go out and purchase a hub. And I went and I got an anchor. Uh, it is a, U, uh, excuse me, Thunderbolt 3 seven in one mini dock. Uh, it has, let's see, it's 45 watt charging for the lap. If I had a laptop, 4K HDMI, uh, yeah, it's, it's going to help me connect to all my peripherals. Uh, so what we're going to do in this video here is we are going to open this up and let's see what's in it. Plus, I'm going to set it up on the Mac too. I don't know whether the camera is going to pick it up, but in the design on the box, you can actually see all of the anchor products that they sell. Anchor's are really good. I have a couple of Anchor uh, batteries. They work really good. Uh, I also have some wires by them also. But let's see what's in this box. I can pop that open. And there we go. This is the hub. As you can see, we got USB-C, USB-A, have an SD card reader, a mini card reader, Thunderbolt. Only problem with this Thunderbolt, that's to connect it to my iMac. Uh, three little fan vents there. Got the HDMI port here, Ethernet port, which I don't need, and the power. So what I'm basically going to use this, this will connect to another hub that I have so that I can connect my microphone and such to that. Uh, SD cards, of course, for these videos. Thunderbolt's going to connect to the Mac. HDMI to my second monitor. So, yeah, this should work pretty good. Uh, so, we'll put that to the side there. Let's see what else is in this box. We have the power cord. Okay. AC power cord here. And under here should be the Thunderbolt cable. I don't know whether anyone's looked online, but these things are incredibly, incredibly expensive. Whew. So I'm glad it came with it. So, yeah, that's it. Uh, what else do they have here? Uh, especially the documentation that comes with the hub. So what do you say we hook this up to my iMac and let's make sure this works. All right, so this part is pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Take the, the power cable here and we take it, plug it right, oops. Right, why won't you go in? Right in there, wow, that's a tight fit, okay. Other end, of course, needs to go into a power outlet. 
and we take this here and thank you anchor you do not have those wire ties on here nice piece of velcro take that right off oh it's connected right to the wire that's beautiful and we take that and this is thunderbolt thunderbolt 3 and that connects right over here next right in the next step let's take our mac we'll spin it around here and let me adjust this about as close as i can get with this lens not sure whether you could see but above these two ports here are thunderbolts so that's your thunderbolt connection so we will take the other end of the thunderbolt cable and we'll plug it into one of these okay we'll need to power it on but the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to take the hdmi cable from my second monitor and we will put it right here into this hdmi So I've got, this is a 1080 monitor and my iMac. So let's power this on. Okay, I don't know what you can see on there. The little light comes on, little fan running. Okay, that's good. It's not on all the time. Let's power on my Mac and let's power on There we go. There we go. We have dual monitors. And there we go. All right, so let's go. I think I may have to set this up in system preferences. Okay, so we'll go into system preferences. And where is it? It is display. Display. Where are you display? displays right here okay set up the arrangement okay so this one is going to go to that side don't want mirror okay. and that is my secondary monitor there we go Oops. Okay, so there you go. You can see I can go from one screen to the other, grab one of my windows, I mean one of my finder screens, bring it over to that secondary monitor. So this does exactly what I wanted to do. It was able to connect to all my backup drives. So this is perfect. Exactly what I wanted to do. All right, that was really quick and easy to set up the hub with the iMac. Uh, I haven't seen any videos online showing this, so I was kind of winging it here. That's how easy. What you saw me do there was not rehearsed or anything. That's how easy it was to set up the, the hub for a second monitor and to be able to have some more connections. So going through Amazon, there are quite a few hubs out there. Some of them are quite expensive. Uh, for the minimal user, like I am, I am not, I don't need extreme speed or anything like that. Uh, I like the speed, it helps out what I'm doing, but for like what I'm using, this is perfect. I mean, I saw hubs that all the way up six, seven hundred dollars and I mean, if you need it, if you're a professional, it's probably needed, but I don't really see, you know, having to need something that expensive. Uh, in any case, that's it for this video. That was nice and easy. That's the Anchor 7-in-1 Thunderbolt 3 Mini Dock. As you see right here, really easy installation. So that's it for now. Thanks, that's really easy. Thanks for watching, I do appreciate it. Like I said, if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button down on the bottom. You'll be able to see all the videos leading up to this one. If you're already a subscriber, you guys already know. 
thank you so much. You're the reason I can do these videos. Hit that bell icon down on the bottom. You'll be able to get a notification anytime I put up a new video. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down. That's fine. Uh, leave me a com If you do give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment below. Let me know why you didn't like this video. If you have any questions, comments, or anything, leave them in the comments below. Thanks for everything, everyone. I'll be back to you guys with another video real soon.